Welcome back to another episode of Neuro3, the series where we discuss neuroscientific papers in 3 minutes. In this video, we will be discussing a study conducted by Moncrief and colleagues from 2022. This paper challenges the well-established serotonin hypothesis of depression, which argues that depression is the result of a lowered level of serotonin in the brain. But how does the paper do this? Well, let's find out. Start the clock. In this paper, the researchers designed a comprehensive umbrella review on the current literature on the topic to examine whether the current evidence supports the role for serotonin in the etiology of depression and to determine whether depression is associated with reduced levels of serotonin in the brain. In this umbrella review, the authors surveyed existing systematic reviews, meta-analyses, as well as other studies that were relevant to the topic at hand. To structure the review, the researchers identified six areas in which the current literature on the topic can be separated into. These areas focus on various aspects of the serotonin hypothesis of depression, such as on serotonin itself, but also on the availability of serotonin receptors as well as serotonin transporters, or CERT, in the brain. Studies that focus on genetics and its potential interaction with stress in the etiology of depression were also focused on during the search for literature. This initial search for literature on the topic yielded hundreds of publications across the six areas of research. However, after the selection process that was based on the author's inclusion criteria, only 17 studies remained. After selecting the studies that fit their inclusion criteria, the studies across the six areas of research were analyzed. Although the results are a bit mixed, the majority of the findings seem to be in opposition to the serotonin hypothesis of depression. For example, of the studies that focused on the availability of serotonin in the brain among depressed people as compared to controls, the three meta-analyses that were included in this review found no evidence of a significant association between serotonin and depression. The authors also did not find much evidence for the levels of the 5-HT1A receptor being higher among depressed people as compared to controls. This serotonin receptor is inhibitory, which means that a higher availability of these receptors in the synapse would result in a lower concentration of serotonin in the brain. Based on the results of this paper, the authors concluded that there is no convincing evidence that depression is associated with or caused by lower levels of serotonin concentration or activity in the body. However, despite this conclusion, it is important to discuss that although one's serotonin levels may not directly correlate with depression severity, this does not mean that serotonin, in the context of depression, is irrelevant. Depression is a complex disorder with various subtypes, and there are many neurological processes that are involved. Effective antidepressant medication, such as SSRIs, specifically target the reuptake of serotonin, which suggests at the very least that serotonin plays an important role. Stop the clock. That's it. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, you can let us know in the comment section below or by dropping us a like.